This is the time block room on the third floor of the Spirit Temple in Ocarina of Time, the Master Quest version. There are four Beamos when you first enter, but they're easy to bomb. I found this time block puzzle too confusing to be fun, so when I'd worked it out I thought I'd share the key information here. You soon find that the Song of Time exposes a switch, and when you stand on it, the exit door opens. However, stepping off the switch closes the door again, so we need to find a box somewhere. The only box in the room is up there on top of a time block, but you can't hookshot it down or get up there to grab it. Experimenting with the Song of Time makes the upper block rise and fall. It can be above the script panel or in front of it. You may notice that when the upper block rises, the box falls to the ground, even though ground in this case seems to be the bottom of one of those infinite chasms that crop up frequently in Zelda. Also, the lower block moves from covering the switch to a position underneath the upper block and back again. Clearly, we need to drop the box from the upper block at a time when the lower block can catch it. But this doesn't happen easily and it's at this point that you get sucked into trying to work out exactly what rules govern how the pattern of blocks changes when you play the song. After some experimentation, I have discovered that the rule is quite simple, and it's not, for example, related to where Navi turns green, nor does it matter where you're facing. The only thing that matters is where you're standing. Each block has a source and destination location, and the rule is simply that if you're standing close to either the current or the alternate location for a block, then it will move. Although, nothing will move if you're standing on one. So here is where the puzzle becomes tricky. Based on the starting position when you enter or re-enter the room, if you move both blocks, the pattern you need to grab the box never occurs, because whenever the upper block moves higher, the lower block moves away, losing you your prize. The key is to walk over to the switch and play the song once. You can move only the lower block by playing the song here. Now the block positions are synchronised the way you want, and if you move back to the upper block, playing the song a second time solves your puzzle. It's not possible to move the upper block by itself, because whenever you're close to the upper block, you're also close to one of the possible locations for the lower block, so that one moves too.